Hello, the Pioneer viewers. We continue to bring you the developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. As you know, the war continues in full violence, and the war on the front line is also affected by political developments in the background. The war processes, which has an important place on the agenda of international politics, is followed by the world, especially the US and European countries. While the latest developments in Russia maintain their importance on the agenda, Russia's moves are becoming more and more limited as time passes. Russia, which has not achieved the successes it wanted on the front, is trying to gain with political moves. So the Ukrainian side, on the other hand, aims to protect its gains both on the front line and the international politics. In times of the war, political decision makers need to make flawless plans. Small mistakes may result in major sanctions. In this case, the plans lost their functionality. And in times of the crisis, political leaders may use unrealistic rhetoric to keep the public united. In such situations, the public should be careful and not become the subject of the propaganda. Russia's full-scale invasion attempt against Ukraine has been going on for a long time. And the invasion process, which has turned into a war, has been quite surprising for Russia. The Russian army, which launched an operation with the aim of making gains, was blocked by Ukraine. The problems that Russia faced in the process that followed led to Putin's special military operation being questioned many times. The Russian people who had to struggle with the difficulties of the war started to show their reactions after the latest developments. In recent days, the Russian army committed a major violation. While the tension between Russia and NATO continued, the Russian army violated the borders, and the missiles fired by the Russian army were seen in the NATO region. Now, if you are ready, let's examine the latest and incredible mistake of the Russian army and the other developments together. So, as the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. As you know, I read all of your comments on our videos, so please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's start if you are ready, because the pioneer reports. The announcement made by the Polish official the other day is yet another addition to Russia's incredible mistake. Moscow has been making mistakes after mistakes since the beginning of the war, and in the past, mistakes caused by the negligence of the Russian military have cost Moscow dearly. The statements reported by the Moscow authorities added a new one to the Russia's violation of international law. According to the Warsaw military, a Russian cruise missiles fired from western Ukraine earlier in the day entered the airspace of NATO member Poland. According to the statements, the Russian missile entered Polish airspace just before 4.30 a.m. local time in the area close to the eastern village of Osernedo, in the borders with Ukraine. So, Polish and Allied aviation had been activated, as well as the security measures the Polish military said in a statement posted on social media. The Warsaw authorities said in a spirit post that it could cause increased noise levels, especially in the southeastern part of the country. The authorities' statements was due to the Polish and Allied fighter jets conducting intercept and petrol flights in the border area. The warplanes sent the area immediately after the Russian military's violation took extensive security measures against a possible attack. The Polish military added that Moscow targeted towns in the western Ukraine with its long-range aviation fleet and that Polish radar systems tracked the missiles throughout the flight. According to the details, the Russian missiles was in the NATO airspace for 39 seconds. According to the information, this is not the first Russian violation in the region. Late last December, Polish military officials announced that the unknown object had entered Polish airspace from the direction of the country's borders with Ukraine. Russia's continued aggression is affecting and entering the entire continent. Since the beginning of the war, NATO countries have worked to prevent the war from spreading, but Russian aggression is now preventing this. NATO countries have been careful to avoid direct involvement in the war in Ukraine, and the incident involving neighboring countries make it more likely that the conflict will expand. An attack on one member of the alliances is considered an attack on all. NATO's involvement in the war could therefore go far beyond the current situation. Since the beginning of the war, Moscow has refrained from commenting on the violations committed by the Russian army and the Russian military, which violates international law and threats, faces many problems arising from its mistakes. Individual mistakes by the Russian military personnel account for a significant portion of Russia's losses throughout the war. 
Due to the inadequate training and insufficient number of military personnel, Russian military personnel have a very high rate of accidents and mistakes. The Russian military has been the target of much criticism for its clumsy approaches throughout the war. The Russian opposition accused the Moscow government of incompetence while at the same time revealing high combat casualties. The Ukrainian army's effective airstrikes and strategic operations pinned down the Russian army at many points. A large part of the Russian navy was destroyed, especially in the Black Sea. In the wake of these failures, the Russian army and Moscow's leaders have become the target of criticism. The figures released by the Ukrainian army strikingly revealed the level of the Russian military losses. According to the Kyiv military, Russian forces in Ukraine have lost 44 artillery systems and two dozen tanks in the last 24 hours. It is also said that the missiles sent hit two large Russian landing ships and the annexed Crimea Peninsula. According to the updated figures released by the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Russia has lost a total of 6,878 tanks since the outbreak of the war in the February 2022. Moscow has also lost 10,855 artillery systems in the 25-month war, according to the Ukrainian statements. In its latest statements, the Ukrainian military said it had successfully attacked two Russian landing ships, the Yamal and Azov, as well as communication center in the Crimean port city of Sevastopol and other unspecified infrastructure facilities. As the Ukrainian army's offensives continues, the Russian military is struggling to respond, and it is becoming more and more difficult for the Russian military to recoup its losses. Faced with the shortage of the raw materials in its military production facilities, Russia is struggling to produce new weapons. In addition, the embargo and sanctions against Russia make the process even more difficult. So, what do you think about the Russian military's violation of the airspace? Do you think the Russian military will be prosecuted for its illegal behavior? And what do you think about the Ukrainian army's operations against the Russian targets? How do you think the high combat losses of the Russian army could affect the outcome of the war? I care about your opinion, so please share it with me.